Hi everyone, just a quick video on updating the firmware on your Novation Peak. Now some of you might say, well, why do I need to watch a video on how to do this? It's pretty easy, isn't it? I mean, the instructions are there on the website, they're in the user manual. Surely this is something pretty basic and everyone can do it. Well, you'd think, but let me tell you a little story. The other day, I went into a camera shop and I had an item that I wanted to repair, dropped it in, and I saw on the, on the counter where you go in to do your repairs, there was a sign that said, firmware updates, $50. And I thought to myself, Canon camera and Nikon camera firmware updates are no more difficult to do than an Ovation Peak firmware update. And if this store is making money out of people doing firmware updates for Canons, let's make an assumption out there that using a DSLR camera is can be quite technical and using a synthesizer can be quite technical as well. So I thought to myself, there's got to be a lot of people out there that don't know how to do this. Why not just do another video on how to do a firmware update and maybe this might help someone. So here we are. If this is something that you guys know how to do, you don't need to watch it. I've got other videos that you can watch. So I'll catch you later for now. But for those who do, stick around and hopefully it really takes that fear away from you doing your own firmware updates. And maybe you might save 50 bucks. So what you're gonna to need to do first is grab your Novation Peak, plug the USB cable that comes with it, the blue one, into your PC or Mac and power it up. Then you're gonna to need to jump onto your browser and go to the components.novationmusic Dot com website. Make sure that you can get in and it's recognizing the Novation Peak as you can see on the screen here. Now what you'll notice is there's a little red circle asterisk next to firmware. You're gonna need to click on that and then it will show you up the top in a little green strip that says connected and it will say a new version of Peak firmware is available. Please update your circuit to get the latest functionality. It doesn't really matter what version is showing on the screen now in this video. This is the same procedure for future and previous versions. So in my case, it says my version is version 1.0 build 246 and there's a version 1.1 waiting for me. So I just click that big button that says update my peak firmware. Yes, it does seem simple, but this is what happens. What it's doing first is it's loading the firmware binary and it's updating the firmware. And it says there that this may take some time. Now, please do not turn off your peak and definitely do not disconnect the USB cable or or shut your computer down. Don't even go away from this browser. Just keep it on the browser and just wait for this all to happen. Maybe get a book, a magazine, a cup of coffee, sit down and just watch it happen. It does take a little while. Mine took, I think it was about four and a half minutes to do this whole thing. So it's not that long. Anyway, whilst that's happening, you'll also notice there's a whole bunch of stuff happening also on the peak. And this is what you see on your peak. You'll see all this gobbledygook information, FPGA block and a bunch of numbers going up total RECD which stands for receive and you've got changes and version and you'll see all of this craziness going on so just sit back and wait for that to happen then it will say updating FPGA and then you'll get this copying FPGA data on the screen of your peak and that little bar graph will grow all the way to the end and when it's finished the peak will reboot But on the browser here, it will say update successful, waiting for your peak to reboot. And when it reboots, you'll see that it loads the last patch that you are on. It reloads the browser screen and it should show connected. Now, if you go to uh, the, connect, the firmware section, it'll show you that your peak is running the latest firmware and it will tell you that there. And that's it, you've done it. And now you can go back and use your peak and it's got all the latest updates. Novation do update the factory patches. So if you look down the bottom there, it says we've updated the factory patches to work with this update. So we advise you to download the new patches, bank A and bank B, and you just follow the procedure just to update the patches through this browser interface here. Anyway, guys, that's really all I wanted to show you. Hopefully this has helped someone. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Anyway, talk to you later. Bye.